Ah, oh, fuck me. Hey guys, it's Dylan with Hands On and I got a quick one for you today. We're looking at the online community in Call of Duty Black Ops State Classified. We're going to determine whether or not we can find matches in Kill Confirm, Team Deathmatch and all other modes. Let's see if we can get some kills and maybe have some fun. We all know the campaign for Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified isn't anything special but the online multiplayer is pretty awesome. Minus the crashes you get from time to time though. So let's see if there's anyone out there and the, uh, yes, yes, we are already finding players for this session. Mind you, this is midday I'm recording. So you know a lot of people might be in school or at work. So it's good to see people playing this game and the community is still alive and well. Okay, so this footage is from Team Deathmatch and as you can see, it's a bit campy. Currently, there are two players on each team so no one wants to run out and get jumped. I've been asked many times around, is this game worth getting for its online play only? And I would say, yes, definitely. The main problem with the campaign mode is the AI bots. Their accuracy is on point and also when you die in a mission, they send you back from the start. Along with some other problems, the campaign is a headache, especially if you're a trophy hunter. It's going to stress you out major. The online on the other hand, everyone is playing on an equal playing field so it feels a lot more manageable and fun. I definitely recommend Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified for its online play alone. Now I've started a match for Team Tactical and Drop Zone but it's extremely hard to get matches for these. It seems the majority of players stick to Team Deathmatch and Free For All. So I think if you stick to those modes, you should be well off. Now I've been praising the online for this game and rightfully so, it's leaps and bounds better than the campaign. But there are a few bugs I should mention such as frequent crashing of the game. Also, sometimes the enemy names aren't highlighted to you which can be sometimes problematic and also sometimes kills may take some time to register. All in all, it's not a bad experience minus the few gripes I had. In 2020, Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified is fully recommended for a good time. So guys, I want to hear from you. Do you play Call of Duty frequent on the PS Vita or are you more of a Killzone fan? If you'd like to run a few matches, drop your PSN down below and maybe we can have some matches. Thanks for watching guys and stay safe.